What's up guys? So recently in my coursework, I've been plotting a lot. So I thought going to different plotting attributes and different types of plots would be a cool thing to cover. So if that all sounds cool, uh, please give this video a like. And if you like what I've been doing so far, also give my channel a subscribe and let's go into this. So you can see I have here using plots and using statistics. Statistics is for the standard deviation calling normal distribution, so I'm just making data and then plotting a line to it. First, our null plot. Now, first I have here is some scatter data and then I'm plotting the line over it and then I'm just labeling everything. Okay, so this looks fine. <laughs> we have our data, we have our line, label everything. This is, this is okay, but we can make this look better. So first off, our data is really big. Maybe we want to make that smaller so it doesn't cover up our line so much. Our line is orange and it kind of gets washed in into the white and to the blue. So we can change that color. We can also make our data a bit more transparent. We can add some error bars to this. So let's, let's add some more. Okay, so for scatter, because we want to add error bars, we want to pop y at error, add that. You want to change the size, so you want to use marker size. Now I'm showing marker shape just to show the attribute, but I'm still going to keep it circles just because I want to show the difference in size. And then we're doing alpha, and now make the data more transparent. And now in plots, the main thing I want to call is just the color. And I'll make it, let's see, we'll make it red. Or it should work. And I'm going to add this annotation feature. So I don't want, I'll make you five. Okay. And we have a lot more here now, right? So we're showing more information. If you have data and you have some error to it, you can, it says, you can see the small error bars. And here I have a, normal distribution so my standard deviation is pretty small uh, i add an annotation so let's say you had a max or a min or a critical point flexion point something you wanted to show you can annotate that with, the, with that annotation feature change the color my data is more transparent so you still see the data but the, the maybe the line you're fitting fits a lot better now or just shows a lot better and it's showing everything on your plot so that's, that's nice. Okay, so we did a normal plot. Now let's look at a log plot. Now I'm pretty much doing the same thing as last time. I have the marker size at the one, the marker shape is still circles, but you can see I'm calling my axes a little bit differently. All right, my X axis is actually being called the same. I can get rid of these parentheses. But my Y axis, because I'm gonna do more to it, Title land, but I'm also making my y axis log. And then my title is just log plot instead. So let's save that and that. Okay, so here you go. So you can see now this is on log scale. So if you're trying to do that, and let's say you want to make both log scale, you can do that with your data. The My data is smaller in this case, I made it one instead of two. And then my line is my line. All right, so subplots. Now this, let's look at these couple cases here. You can see I'm doing everything, everything different now. Now I'm making the scatter and making the plot, but in this case, I'm assigning it to this P1. And how I'm making the plot is still pretty much the same. I have my error, I have the shape, I have the marker size, all that stuff. Um, I plot. Same deal, y-axis, so I'm labeling the axes within the plot itself. And you can see here, and now I'm just naming the data, I'm calling it the gradient of B data. And then here I have another subplot, and this I'm assigning P2. And this one's gonna be in log scale. And then finally, I'm calling plot again I'm feeding those two variables and designing the layout. Okay, and we have all our data. Now, once again, you can see my dots are huge. 
I could change that, but I'm not going to do that this time. But we can see, you can see I have my two plots. If you had more stuff to show, you can make two subplots, compare them, create error bars, and do regression fit or whatever. It's good to know all these smaller things, and there's also way more ways you can change it. You saw that the data had black borders. You can change that to where it's a different color border. If you wanted to add more subplots and change the layout, you can do that. You can change the size and the resolution, all that stuff. But I thought this adds more character to your plots, and this is also pretty much the main things that I use to fix my plots. I figured these were good to know for everyone else. So if you liked that, please give my channel a like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.